Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're, I'm going to be looking at the Cinema 4D plugin Throssy 1.22. Uh, it's a free plugin, and as always, the download link will be in the description of this video. Uh, Throssy is a fracturing script that uses splines to cut objects, and what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is just a basic text explosion um, and showing you how, kind of how this plugin works. It's a great plugin, it's free, and uh, I would advise you to download it. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new new Cinema 4D project, file new, and I'm going to go ahead up here to MoGraph and click on text object, and I'm just going to add a text and name it Shatter, and let me choose my favorite font, Star Avenue. Uh, I'm going to bring the depth up to 100, and then in, under the caps menu, I'm just going to give it a little bit more character, add some fillet caps on the start side. And on the inside, and maybe bring the steps up a bit. I bring up just two. And then from there, we're just going to go ahead, and once you're kind of happy with your text, uh, go click on plugins, Throssy 1.22. And what this is going to do under this pieces tab right here, uh, I'm going to use, I usually use about 50 to 60 pieces. Um, for text, uh, it's kind of whatever is your taste. The higher the piece count, the longer it's going to take for Throssy to go through and, and cut up the splines for each of the text objects. So I'm going to leave it at 60. Uh, I'm going to leave Randomize on. Uh, up here in the Dynamics tab, you can choose when you want this shatter to occur. Um, I'm going to choose immediately, but if you were going to do something where like maybe a ball or, or some other object was coming in and causing the shatter, maybe a building was falling into another building, uh, you would want to to choose uh, on collision. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on break now and this is going to take a second to go through each of the letters and it's going to break it into 60 uh, random size pieces. Get my own computer. So I guess I can tell you a little bit about what we're going to do next. Uh, we're going to add just a, a quick floor and add a uh, dynamics tag or a rigid body dynamics tag, uh, and then do the same thing with a sphere object. And then we're going to make it so the sphere doesn't render through, but the sphere is going to have uh, a higher bounce rate on it, so it's going to give the effect of a 3D explosion. So. I'm going to pull out of here. I'm going to just go ahead and click on objects, add a new null object, uh, pull down shift and click on all six of these uh, text objects that have already been put through Therasi. And then I'm going to put them underneath as a child to the null object. And so I'm just going to go ahead and click. Let's add a new floor. And for the floor object, you can right click on the floor, go down to MoGraph tags, rigid body. And I'm just going to leave. Um, the default setting for the floor and if you see if I uh, move forward the text is going to shatter down and move across the floor if I take away the rigid body tag the text will fall right through the floor which is not what we want so let me throw that back on there rigid body tag and let's give some color to this so if you click on the very first material uh, in the bottom left hand corner, uh, I'm just going to give this a quick color, maybe a green, and turn the reflection on. Uh, just give it a texture. Click down here on, uh, what's my, what do I usually use? Uh, fre Fresnel right here. That gives it a nice little shine, and we'll do the same thing for the outside, and we'll give that just maybe a, a nice black color, and then turn the reflection on, and turn the Fresnel up. So what you can see now, oop, 
is that when this text begins to explode, the inside and outside pieces have different colors with different types of reflections. So uh, usually when I render this out, my render settings, I will click on effect and add uh, ambient occlusion. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial because the render will take much longer if I'm trying to go back and show you it, but if you're doing a final render, definitely put on ambient occlusion. Uh, from here, we're going to go ahead and add a sphere object, um, and I'm going to put it over here by this S. Um, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add a rigid body tag, and this is going to interact with the pieces as they're breaking, uh, showing kind of a, an explosive center, of, the, the center of explosion for uh, the shatter. So you'll see real quick, uh, MoGraph tags, rigid body, and when I move forward, it's going to kind of explode out a little bit. And it's the reason it's going to explode out is because of this bounce rate down here. So if I bring this bounce rate up, say a bounce rate of 10, maybe bring friction uh, of the physics maybe to two and a half, you're going to notice a much higher explosive rate than previous. And you can also move this sphere around. Let me make sure I'm in here, right? I'll slow the y-axis and bring it up a bit. And then go back so you can see. Now the explosion is going to happen from the middle of the word out. And the only problem is, is when you render out, you have this sphere in the middle, which is something that you don't want. So to get rid of this, but then also keep the effect of the rigid body tags, you can click on these little circles right next to the check marks until they are orange, and you'll get the same effect, except for it will not render out. So there's a quick, uh, easy way uh, to use Therasi. Obviously, you know, there's a million other ways that you can use it, but that's kind of the basis of breaking an object down, cutting it up into splines, and uh, using other objects to uh, influence the dynamics of how it's broken and how it explodes. Um, so with that said, uh, my next tutorial is going to be on Projection Man in Cinema 4D using uh, digital set extensions and uh, matte paintings from uh, Photoshop. So I'll show you a quick example of that right now. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.